Museum of Science and Industry is one of Chicago's cultural gems. Opened in 1933, it is the largest science museum in the Western Hemisphere. We are home to more than 35,000 artifacts and more than 14 acres of space. We want people to come here and feel like they can go on and create something, whether that be within the science or STEM fields or something else in a creative mindset. We want people to feel very motivated and ambitious after they visit MSI. One of the greatest things about the museum is it is very hands-on and interactive. Every single one of our exhibits, you can do something really fun, you can be interactive with it. And that was what our founder, Julius Rosenwald, wanted when he opened the Museum of Science and Industry back in 1933. The museum houses many permanent exhibits. One of the most popular is Science Storms. Science Storms investigates the physics and chemistry behind natural phenomena in our world. So thinking about tornadoes, avalanches, lightning, sunlight. It's very hands-on, just like we like to do with everything here at MSI. So there's a 40-foot tornado that you can actually control. Now that's cool. There is a 20-foot avalanche disc that you can also control and see about particle movement. There's a tsunami tank where you can trigger a 15-foot long tsunami. And if you look up, you can see 1.5 million volts of electricity fire off from our indoor Tesla coil. The biggest exhibit on display at the MSI is the U-505 submarine. We started hosting it here in 1954, where we actually moved the sub through Lake Michigan and across Lakeshore Drive to bring it here to the Museum of Science and Industry. In 2004, the MSI actually brought the U-505 indoors when they built an entirely new exhibition hall around the massive sub. It's truly a mini museum in and of itself. There's about 200 artifacts there, and you actually learn a lot about World War II and what the conditions were like at the time leading up to the U-505's capture in 1944. The museum's newest exhibit is Robot Revolution, where guests can interact with 40 different robots from around the world. It's truly an unprecedented collection. There hasn't been this collection of robots in one place for the public to actually see anywhere else. Guests can actually watch robots play a game of soccer without any human interaction. They can challenge a robot named Baxter to a game of tic-tac-toe. They can also challenge a robot to a game of 21. So there's a lot of the different things that guests can do with robots that they might have not realized that is actually going on in the world of robotics right now. The Museum of Science and Industry is continuously changing. If you haven't been in a few years, or even if you were just here last week, you'll find something new to explore and get your hands on.